Hello guys, Jamie Havoc in here, your how-to guy when it comes to radio, production, editing, and more. Okay, what I'm doing here is I have basically, instead of downloading uh, royalty-free music from the internet, I've made my own beats, recorded them in, and now I'm just grabbing them and editing them. I did one long session and now I'm grabbing the areas and usually what I'll do is I'll copy them bring them to a new folder now if you're wondering what I'm using AVS uh, audio editor it's actually called AVS for you audio editor and I'll hit OK right click paste and there's just this beat Right now, at the very end, I'm going to cut that and um, fade it out. This has a lot. Th this this editor, in my opinion, and I've used all of them. Everything, everything from uh, Adobe Audition to uh, what's that other one? Gold Wave uh, Pro Tools is probably the only thing that's better than this. And for 99 bucks, you get this for life course it has you could put any uh, DX filters and VST filters you want in there but besides that it already has built in almost everything you need all right so I'm gonna fade out and fade out you can do fast slow smooth I just usually do linear hit OK and then I'll save this as bumper now I, you know I could go ahead and put some equalization to it let's see if it sounds better with some equalization I got many different ones here um, I think it's fine the way it is. I will save it and I will make sure I go to my bumpers and I'll just name this um, let's see two and how long is it? Find out your length. It's basically telling me right now how much I've highlighted here and where it's ending so 118 and I just type in how long it is 1 minute 18 save and ok this thing edits fast it saves fast and it works great and has your multi-band compressor regular compressor envelope normalizer um, auto correction it's, it has everything alright so now I'm gonna go back going to close that file and I'm gonna start on the next beat I'm gonna copy it and when I paste it I'm gonna might be able to paste it with some amplification I'm not sure no okay so I'm gonna throw some amplification to it alrighty that's fine for now I'm gonna cut out the little first beginning and I'm going to fade in this time. Now on fade in, you can only do linear or smooth, I believe. Let's see, fast, 
so, sometimes they don't work. It's either on fade in or fade out. But I do linear in all of them. All right, and then what you would do, say you had an audio promo, like something like, um, let's see what this is. Okay, that's one I did. What you would do is say your audio promo, let's just say it was 49.995 seconds long. Personally, I would start right here. I would highlight until I look down here in the bottom right where it says length. And you'll see it says 44514 right now. All right, what did I say? 49995. Usually I would go a little bit beyond that, so I will go like 50044 is fine. I would hit amplify, and I usually do about 12 decibels down. I would hit OK. And let me record a sample real quick. I'll pause this while I do it. All right, I figured I would show you guys this. I just recorded a raw spot in one take, and what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to clip out all the uh, silence. I'm going to clip that out, and once that's done, I will put my effects to it, and I'll show you that after I'm done clipping. All right, after you're done clipping, what you want to do is listen to it to make sure there's nothing that you have uh, re-recorded. Like say I, I I said a word and it I happened to pop something, or there was an S that stuck out, and I redid it. You'd want to listen to it to make sure it's right and there's nothing repeating. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I've done that. I've gone through and listened to it and make sure there was nothing there that I didn't want in it. And now what I'm going to do is amplify it. But before I do that, I will put my equalizer to it and um, use the one that I've been using that I know works with this current setup, which I'll show you my setup real quick uh, once I'm done here. And the next thing I'll do is come in my multiband and I have a studio tune all set up. Even though I am using a vocal compressor when uh, I record, I just like to throw this in there as well. <clears throat> and then after that you can see it's dropped now I will hit my amplify hello guys Jamie Havoc in here make sure that you check out the information and then I'll hit OK and then one other thing I'll do is I'll come in tempo change I like my tempo to go up about 115 to 117 so that your time right now you can see it's almost 41 seconds hello guys Jamie Havoc in here make sure that you check out the information about this year's paradigm symposium alright so let's see what it shrinks down to now it's 35 seconds doesn't seem like much but it is then what I would do is come here hello guys Jamie Havoc in here make sure that you check out the information about this year's paradigm symposium Paradigm Symposium. Go to par Paradigm Symposium. Go to par Go to Paradigm Symposium. Go to Paradigm Symposium. Go to Go. And then I'd find that keyword. What is it? Paradigm Symposium. And what I like to do there is just just throw something in there. Let's see. Paradigm Symposium. No. Um, there's one other that I use, which is Chorus. And let's see. Paradigm Symposium. And then you're going to have to amplify that. No, that's the, uh, it's the voice effect. So now it sounds like this. And I'll change it up sometimes. Just do reverb on certain things. Hello, guys. Jamie Havoc in here. Make sure that you check out the information about this year's Paradigm Symposium. Go to ParadigmSymposium.com to learn everything you need to know. Get your early bird tickets now. That way, you are certain you have your ticket, your hotel, and everything you need to see the best speakers and attend the best conference in the paranormal 
attend the best conference in the paranormal the best conference in the best conference in the best conference in the best conference the best conference and then I'll come in and either do a voice more for voice more for <laughs> I'm live right now I can't re-edit this the best conference I'll bring my pitch up some the best conference bring the tempo down the best conference you don't want to bring it down that the much. best conference the best conference the best conference flanger would just make it go so just do this and then you'll have to amplify it after that like I said you'll get your own little things you like to use it just makes your your ad a little bit different so once you're done with that and you like everything mine turned out to be 35.2 whatever just say it was 49.995 let's go back to our <clears throat> music file and you want to click right on the same line you started it at and you want to right click paste mix and I usually do an amplification of about 67 percent boom now let's see what this sounds like hello guys Jamie Havikin here make sure that you check out the information about this year's paradigm symposium go to paradigmsymposium.com to learn everything you need to know get your early bird tickets now that way you are certain you have your ticket your hotel and everything you need to see the best speakers and attend the best conference in the paranormal ufology and other related fields so what are you waiting for? Go to ParadigmSymposium.com. Also remember to check out Intrepid Magazine at IntrepidMag.com. Both put together by Scotty Roberts. Take care. And in a perfect world, if that was exactly what I set this for, it would be perfect. But since it's not, if you ever come up short, you just highlight what you need to amplify and make sure that no part of your speech is there. Okay. And then you just reamplify it. I brought that down 12 decibels. I want to bring it back up about the same. Okay. And I want to end it right right after my speech. My my voice stops talking. So we're almost out of check time out here. Intrepid Let's Magazine see. at intrepidmag.com. Both put together by Scotty Roberts. Take care. All right, and what I always suggest is that you take something like this from here and then you open a new folder because I'll show you why. Then you can paste it, okay? From here, you'll amplify it a little bit, not too drastic. And then uh, you'll fade it out. Fade out. Boom, and you're done. Now you can hit save, save as, choose your location. In this case, it's going to be under music. And in my case, files and then promos. I hate when I do caps backwards and you're not looking at the screen. save and then OK now I'll show you the reason why I took that to a new folder one reason is sometimes when you're editing and you're pasting it'll paste and it'll mess it up so no I don't want to open that what I want to do is go back to the file I was using right here and that's not it so you want to find that little file that I just copied which was this right and you just want to go up to undo 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 one more time undo right then and then from there you would fade that out amplify it and save it that way you have 
your promo and then you still have the original bumper to use thank you guys check out more you can always email me at jamie j-a-m-i-e m havakin at gmail.com